Hi guys, Rick here for VR Basement. Hope you're all doing really well. Uh, so today I'm just going to do a video on an experience I found on Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Uh, this has been out for a little while, but uh, quite a fan of the film. So if there's anyone else out that likes that film, I thought it's worth uh, showing what the experience is like. Um, anyway, if you like this video, guys, please give me a like. And obviously, if you want to see my future content, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. Cheers guys, let's take a look. There are plenty of things to explore. So how about pointing your wand at the potion bottles on my desk and the shelf behind? Have a look at the magnifying glass next to the scroll on the desk. Or see what happens when you point your wand at the papers on the chair to the right of the door. Now, we'd best get started with my creatures. You'll need to prepare a few things before you meet each of them. To begin with, point your wand at the scroll on my desk and choose one. Here is a gesture that you'll need to make to complete the spell. Just trace the form you see in front of you with your wand. My poor Arumpant. She's quite lonely, really, and I'm afraid you'll have to coax her out if you want to meet her. This one's a little tricky, but trust me, it is worth the effort. Oh, well done. If you're really coming along, you know. It's a fantastic job you're doing there. I couldn't have hoped for a better helper. <laughs> well done, you've completed the spell. And I'm absolutely certain that the Arumpet will find you cap... I found Frank in Egypt, but the Thunderbird's natural habitat is Arizona. Bow truffles are a tree guardian creature. You see the large wooden structure to the right of the shed? That's the rumpant enclosure. She may look intimidating, but she's nothing more than a soppy puppy, really. You'll just need to move slowly, as you don't want her to charge you. Well done. I think she took quite a liking to you. Uh, feel free to spend a little more time here, or you can head back into the courtyard and the shed to meet another creature. It's up to you.
I don't like to have favorites, but it's hard not to be taken aback by the Thunderbird. What a creature. I rescued Frank in Egypt. He was being held against his will, and I promised to return him to his natural habitat. Oh, he's a bit sensitive to strangers, so please approach him with caution. <laughs> You certainly have a way with Frank. It's rare that he trusts anyone, really. It's impressive how quickly he took you. Feel free to spend more time with him, or you can just head back and meet another creature. Still deciding which of my creatures to meet next. Well, perhaps you could help me out and check my ocker. Right, time to learn how to mix a potion to ease a graphorn's cold. Poor thing, she's not really herself today. But she'll be happy to see that you're here to help. So just follow the illustration on the scroll. Quite delighted you popped by. You've been quite brilliant with my creatures. I think they may have taken a liking to you. Well done. Uh, now your potion is ready for my grapple, and you just need to go out and meet it. To the left of the pagoda, you'll find the Graphorn enclosure. Now, make sure you stay on your toes. She's wonderful, but she can be a bit bold at times. She's one half of the very last breeding pair in existence. Now, let's get started. You'll see a scroll in front of you for instructions.
Well done. That's remarkable. I've rarely seen her so well behaved. You can stay and keep her company if you want, or you can head back to my shed and get ready to meet some of my other creatures. Still deciding which of my creatures to meet next. Well, perhaps he... Oh, no. The Niffler's gone again. Of course he has, little bugger. Oh, wait, no, wait a second. I think he's hiding in his burrow. Right. I've got a plan to entice him out. So he has a predilection for anything shiny. And I know he's had his eye on a few of my belongings, so let's go and gather them from around the courtyard and see if we can use that to tempt him out. Right. So point your wand at the door and head out to the courtyard and start collecting. Right, so there are four shiny pieces to collect. Off you go. Oh, and don't forget to search around the enclosures. Ah, oh, the brass button. The Niffler's obsessed with that one. Have a look around the rumpant enclosure. I think there might be something there. Now, she may look intimidating, but she's nothing more than a soppy puppy. Good show. You found the belt buckle. I've left instructions to help. They're just there on the scroll in front of me. Well, perhaps near the Thunderbird enclosure. I think I saw something there earlier. Well, he must be around here somewhere. He can't have gone far. He's just a baby. I don't like to have favourites, but it's hard not to be taken about by the thunder. Oh, excellent work. You found the coin. Take a look at the scroll over there for instructions and see if you're up to the task. Now, make sure you stay on your toes. She's wonderful, but she can be a bit bold at times. She's one half of the very last breeding pair in a... Splendid. 
You've collected all the shiny pieces you need to try tempting the Niffler. Right, so let's go to the Niffler burrow. It's just under the tree in the courtyard. I've left instructions to help. They're just there on the scroll in front of you. The Niffler burrow is found just at the base of that tree. Right. Time to meet the Niffler. Let's present him with the shiny items and see what he makes of them. Look. I think it's doing the trick. Yes, here he comes. Here comes the nifter. Now that he's here, complete the gesture in front of you with your wand to get to know him better. We see what he's hiding in his pouch. We don't want him to have his paws on anything he shouldn't now, do we? Well, why not see him play with his collection? That was quite brilliant. By all means, stay a while with this little fellow, or you can return to the courtyard. Bow truffles are intensely shy creatures, so to get them to come down from their tree and meet you, I suggest preparing something to help coax them towards you. They're particularly partial to fairy eggs, so let's collect some for them as a treat. Oh, there are none there. Wait, try the next leaf. Great, well done, you found some. Now pick each one off from the leaf with your wand and place it in the pot. Wonderful. All done. Now point at the door to go out to the courtyard and meet the bow chuckles. The tree with the bow chuckles is just to the left of the bamboo forest and to the right of the pagoda. The tree with the bow chuckles is just to the left of the bamboo forest and to the right of the pagoda. Right. Follow the instructions on the scroll 
Let's see if we can help the bow truckles feel less shy. Well, the bow truckles are certainly ready for something to eat. Follow the instructions on the scroll. And let's see if we can help the bow truckles feel less shy with some fairy eggs. Oh no, so bow truckles have been known to sometimes attack woodcutters if they feel their homes are being threatened. Perhaps best try offering him some wood lice to calm him down. Now quick, follow the instructions on the scroll. Oh, well done. Like I said, with them being so shy, it can actually be tough to get bow truckles to meet new people. Uh, head back to my shed and just look at the scroll for what to do next. show you how to assemble this box to release a rare bird call, a Native American method of calling the powerful thunderclap. Excellent. You've successfully completed the spell. And now to the thunderbird. But take care, as he's a wee bit sensitive to strangers, so this could be quite a challenge. We well, can't miss the Thunderbird enclosure. If you just look out for... Well, he must be around here somewhere. He can't have gone far, he's just a baby. Remarkable creature. It's the iridescent plumage. So beautiful. The Occamies are, are quite remarkable, you know. They're coranoptixic, you see, which means they can shrink or grow to fit available space. That's why I recommend trying to keep a teapot handy, just in case you need to make the Occamy a little easier to handle.
Well done. You've taken great care of all my creatures. You really did a quite brilliant job, and you've been very helpful, so thank you. They certainly seem to like you, so, um, well, just feel free to stay and keep my creatures company for as long as you like. <laughs>